Um, so we actually got such good results from our last video that we've decided to, to uh, sign up with Random Citizen again. So this time our topic is on prayer. Am I getting paid for this? We'll talk about that after the video. No. But anyway. So this time <laughs> we had you all text us or email us in some questions about our topic of prayer. So we're just going to answer a few of your questions today. Would you like to read our first question, Random Citizen? No. Uh, the first question is for Mia, and it says, General, what is prayer? So prayer, my friends, is any type of communication with God, our Heavenly Father. Any type of conversation or just you talking with God, um, really just any talk between Him and man, women, children, that's you guys, anyone can talk to Him. Yeah, just yeah. talking to God. That's a good answer. Our next question is for a random citizen. Matt. Why should we pray? So, there's many reasons why we pray to God. And obviously, you know, we, our prayers get answered. It says in the Bible that God hears our prayers and he answers them. So that's obviously the main reason why we pray in the first place is because we know he, he will answer them. Um, another reason why we pray to God is we like to praise him for who he is and all he's given us. Like, even just the fact that we have clothes to cover ourselves is a reason to praise God. So, we should be praising Him all the time. Um, and then there's the not-so-good reason, but the necessary reason. We're all sinners, so we need to pray to God to ask for forgiveness from our sin. Because sin is bad, and God is the only one who can make us good again by saving us from our sin. There's actually our, this week's memory verse talks about that. It says, watch and pray that you may not enter into temptation because the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And what that means, that especially that last part where it says the flesh is weak, that's our bodies, the bodies we have on this earth want sin. They like sin, but sin is bad. So the only thing that can keep us from sinning is God. And we, we get to know God better by talking to him. And we, we, yeah, we talk to him. Very good answer, Random Citizen. Next question is for Mia. What do we pray for? What do we pray for? Well, pretty much anything you can think of. Because um, prayer doesn't just have to be a formal conversation with God. You can pray to God by just talking to him, like in your day-to-day -day life. If you're excited about something, say you're going over a friend's house, you're excited about it, talk to him about it. Um, thank him for your friends. Thank him for anything you can. Um, so really, you can pray to him when you're thankful. You can pray to him when you're sad or when you're scared. Um, he's always there to talk to because he's our best friend. Um, so really, you can talk to him about anything. And our next question is again for our random citizen. How do we pray? So, most people are, you pray by putting their hands together and bowing their head and closing their eyes. And, but that's only one way to pray to God because there's really, like Mia said earlier, praying is any conversation with God. And even better than that, God knows our thoughts. So we can actually pray just by thinking about it without even saying any words. Like we could be riding in mommy and daddy's car and just close our eyes or not even close our eyes, but just think, be like, God, thank you that mommy and daddy love me and that we have a car to be in and just thank him for anything. Because like I said earlier, we have a million reasons to thank God every day. So yeah, we can just... We can pray any way, really, as long as it's a conversation with God, because that's, that's what praying is. Very good. And our next and final question is again for our random citizen. Random citizen, how does God talk to us in return? So God talks to us through our prayers sometimes. Like, prayer is almost like a conversation, like you said, where 
we pray to God, and sometimes he answers us right there on the spot, and he'll give a clear answer like as we're praying to him. Other times, and most often, the way God, we hear from God is by reading his word. Because God gave us his word for us to read so that he can answer, or he can reveal himself through that. So the best way to read God's word is to pray and ask God to reveal himself through it, through the reading of his word, and then read and try and pick up on what God is trying to say through his word, which is the Bible. Thank you for being with us here today. Again, a brand new citizen. Um, tune in next week for our next topic. Thank you for joining us, guys. Um, feel free to email us with any other questions you might have on our topic of prayer. Um, hope you all have a good night. Yeah, good night. Bye. Bye.